I'm Spike Levy, I'm 32, and I'm a music producer. So if money and fame are the focus, then it's really going to um, inhibit your creative flow. It's going to stop you from uh, your true potential. I think if you're chasing money and fame, um, then you're not in it for the right reason, because if you follow your passion and do what you love, maybe those things will come. And if they don't, it doesn't, you don't care because that's what you love to do. You know, it's always full time. It's not, it's not something that I put into categories like part time, full time. It's something I'm always doing and will always do and have always done. You have to be great at what you do to earn a living from it. And, and you don't need to look for people's validations, but people need to be appreciating what you're doing. The most important thing is you get your art to a standard that you think is fantastic and that you're happy with. And you'll know if you're being honest with yourself when that point is. If you want to be successful, it's repetition. Yeah, you need to do things a million times. You have to do it every day, all the time, until it becomes uh, like a new language. You don't need to create the best art that other people think is great. You create what you think is great. And if people like it, great. And if they don't, it also needs to be great because art is really subjective and music is subjective. All the music that I like, someone else will hate and vice versa. So if you're creating things that you think other people are going to like, it's never going to work. You have to create what you love. And that just takes time and practice. And having rituals are really important. I think that you need to be able to have something that signifies that you're there to start creating or to start working, whether that is lighting incense. And when you light that incense, it becomes a habit that you know as soon as you smell that incense and it's lit that it's time to get to work and be creative. And that puts you in the right frame of mind. Inspiration for me can be a sound. So, I mean, if, if I'm creating something new, I usually get a brief on where the destination is. Again, there's that word, you know, with each song that I write, there needs to be a destination and a place I need to arrive to. If, if I'm writing with no idea, then I don't know what's gonna come out, but it's much easier to have a destination. And we might not get to that destination, just like in life. We might end up somewhere else where you didn't think you're gonna go, but there's, there's something about um, having uh, having an idea where you want to end up and where you want your piece of music to end up. So I kind of think that when you have this blank canvas, you need to, you know, if, if, if the music producer is the painter, you need to be able to select the right colors before you can start painting or else you're not going to have this kind of cohesive uh, piece of work. That Phil Collins 80s snare drum and that's you know, my, my red and I might get that, um, that sexy blue bass line from Billie Jean and I'll take those sounds, I'm not stealing from the songs but I'm taking those sounds and I put them together and then I create a piece of music that have those textures and you know the sonic character of those songs. So the first point of contact is really important for me with another artist in the room. Um, for me, if it's about me, I need to feel comfortable with the person sitting across the room because I'm not going to be able to create if the connection between us is not right. And if the artist isn't bringing anything, you need to provide it. So you need to provide them with inspiration. You need to give them ideas and suggestions, suggestions and sounds. The job as a music producer is you're also a coach and a mentor. Um, you need to be able to make the artist feel comfortable. And the best comment that I had the other day from two artists on the same day was, I feel so comfortable sitting in the studio with you. And they haven't had that before. So if I can create that environment for the artists, it's the best environment there can be because the artist feels comfortable enough to be able to express themselves, to be vulnerable, to deliver a great vocal take or piece of music. And that's where we need the artist to be in a, in a comfortable, creative frame of mind. And that's where I work from as well.